did a thing. Mary announced to me that we're gonna have to become fruititarian. Basically, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> and I, our Walmart has not had grocery pickup for weeks and it finally let me. I placed an order on Monday, I think, and it was ready for pickup on Friday. And I saw that they had a good deal on strawberries and blueberries, so I ordered those. And in the meantime, in between placing that order and picking up, or yeah, picking up that, you know, curbside uh, Walmart pickup, Instacart, um, which I call it instant cart because I'm not cool and hip and I don't, whatever. Um, <laughs> they gave, like, they emailed P, not they, like, whatever. We got a, an email because we use them that it was $5 off your order. So I was like, oh, well, we, we do need a little bit of produce. So I go on to Sam's Club and get Sam's Club size strawberry and blueberry because they were also a good deal, plus we had the $5 off. So we have a lot, and that Sam's Club order arrived today. So we have a lot of strawberries and a lot of blueberries. And, um... Because, like, the Sam's Club size are, like, massive. <laughs> and then, like, regular size containers yeah. at Walmart. Totally great. So we are going to enjoy a lot of fruit, and I'm really excited. And also, a ripe banana in with it. It's just delicious. So, want to join us for... Some fruit salad? Ow. Oh, sorry. You <laughs> also got another cantaloupe. Did you notice that? You know, I... <laughs> okay, I... <laughs> you, you're not wrong. Yeah. I did get another cantaloupe. And yeah, mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, again, I had to order a week or five days ahead of time. Well, there is a ripe mango. Yes. You want to add that in, too? Um, Let's save that for dinner. Okay. We'll save the mango for dinner. <laughs> and I, I like will... that is our dinner, mango. <laughs> mango. Oh, or shall we have it with our dinner? <laughs> oh, our dinner of cantaloupe. <laughs> yeah, cantaloupe and mango. And, okay. Well, I do think that this might be ready, so I think I'll go ahead and cut that cantaloupe. And that cantaloupe needs some time, so it'll be. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna have some fruit. Good morning, guys. And we're very thankful that we could get fruit. Yes. Look how these strawberries look amazing. They're very ripe. Wow. So, so amazing. Like, it's kind of good that we have a lot because it's making us eat them because I think they would go bad in a couple of days. Yes. Delicious. Here it is. Wow. Deliciousness. This is, like, amazing. And Mary and I were remembering we used to make, like, we would chop up fruit real fine like apple, strawberry, what do we put it? Blueberries, maybe? Mm, bananas. <laughs> apple, strawberries, bananas. Chop it up real fine and we call it fruit basket upset. So and, we're having a big fruit basket upset. But yeah, I'm not upset about it. I had some dough that I made the other day, put it in the fridge and it, I, it looks kind of odd. So I tried to make a pizza crust out of it and now we're gonna test it and see if it's pizza-able or if we need, but he already tested it before I started the camera, so how is it? Salty. I put salt on it. It's like a cracker. Yeah. I think I'll whip up a different batch. It's a good cracker. That is a good cracker. Ooh, with some like soft cheese. Yeah. It's like an artisan cracker. Art giant artisan cracker. Not pizza dough. <laughs> he keeps coming back for more. <laughs> coming back for more. I got the hummus out. It's good. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Hey, you know what I could do, babe? What? I could roll this out and then cut it like little squares. Triangles. triangles. Any shape. Yeah. I just threw together a little bit of my starter, sourdough starter, and some flour, a little bit of olive oil. I feel like I've heard of that in some pizza dough. I don't know if that's true. And some salt. Just mix that together. Now I'm going to roll it out, pre-bake it, and before I bake it, I'm going to put um, some more olive oil and another tiny sprinkling of salt, and then bake it. And then put sauce and cheese on.
while that pizza crust is cooking, I thought I'd go ahead and use up this dough from the other day. Here's what the texture looks like. It's really interesting. So I am going to put a little bit of oil down and then roll this out and see what happens. You. Oh, there you are. Do you want to make this into coleslaw? Yes. What's in that package? N nothing's in that package, Peter. It's not a birthday present. Okay, the cracker is done, and now Peter's gonna cut it into so, crackers. Into crackers. It's gonna just crumble. Oh wow! Okay, sorry. Oh no. Maybe some of them will cut. Then I thought we could put them in this. Good timing. Let's eat. Let there be pizza yes. and coleslaw and mango for dessert and the all important hot peppers. Hot pepper flakes. Nice. Well, tonight we are getting rain. It's raining. Well, it's been raining since like dinner time and which has made it feel a little kind of gloomy and overcast this evening, but automatic watering for the lawn which is which is good we tried to plan planning the i know we can't plan weather but we've been watching the forecast as i've been getting closer to finishing the yard and we didn't want to have any torrential downpours in the immediate future of planning the lawn because we do have quite a bit of like sloping and I graded the yard so that it's less of steep slopes and we put in that drainage system but we don't want the grass seed to wash away and so the goal was if we can control the watering that's good but tonight it's like it's been a steady light drizzle and that's perfect 
for our new grass seed. Although, it's getting cold this weekend, which isn't great for seed germinating, but I think it'll just kind of slow down the process, and once it warms up next week, yeah, we'll be back on track. So, I don't know. And now we just wait, but I'll, uh, I keep looking out here at the yard and imagining all of this with grass, and it's really exciting. I mean, look at this. It's exciting. This grass, don't get too excited. This grass was already, um, that was like the remnant of the grass that kind of existed on this slope right here. So I didn't dig that up, but man, this is exciting. It really was a transformation of this yard and I'll, <laughs> I say that, but I look back at pictures and I feel like pictures and video just don't show the transformation. Um, but I don't know, kind of soaking it up. You seeds, soak up that rain, all right? Oops. Oh, Oops. hi Harry. Hi Mary. Hi buddy. <laughs> Guys, my hair's getting long. I love it. It's it's kind of fun. It's kind of inevitable. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how long we let it grow. Cat. Cat. We're just here in bed with our animals, snuggling and Can you show Ollie? He's pretty cute. Thanks for tuning in today, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, hair man. Good night, Ollie boy.